Okay. Um, the captain of the uh, pool team comes up to me and says, Jim, yes, you're up, right. You're playing the blind guy. So I look over into a corner of the room, and he's sitting over there. He's got a seeing eye dog with him and his cane. And he gives a command, and the seeing eye dog gets up and guides him over to the pool table. He places his cane on top of the pool table, and he says, can you help me? I said, what do you need? He said, can you unzip the pool case for me? So I unzipped the case. I put his pool cube together, and he picked it up off the pool table, and he said, this is a $3,500 custom-made pool cue. It has sensors. It has a global positioning system. It has a laser beam guidance system. I know where every ball, every ball on the table is. So you have to ask yourself one question. Are you feeling lucky, Mr. Eastwood? Are you? So we start playing. And uh, I'm up. He's going for the eight ball. I got one ball to make before I can go for the eight ball. I don't have a shot. So I decide to play a safety. So I put my ball in between the cue ball and the eight ball, blocking his shot. So he comes up to the table, and he calls a timeout. The seeing eye dog comes over, jumps up on top of the table, starts looking around, goes back to the blind guy. The seeing eye dogs, they're very, very highly trained. He starts talking to the blind guy, who was a talking seeing eye dog. And he's, they're talking for a bit. And the blind guy nods his head comes back over to the pool table, raises his cue straight up, smash the cue ball over my ball and sinks the eight ball. So I waited for him outside in the parking lot. I ran him over with my car and stole his cue. I just don't think it's right that a seeing eye dog should be allowed to be in on a timeout. Where are my drugs? Oh, here they are. All right. Thank you very much. Goodbye.